Hey folks, in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the most important and basic jazz piano skills that non-pianists can try to work on to improve themselves as musicians and help learn more tunes. I've mentioned it before in previous videos that if you want to learn a lot of jazz standards, having some basic piano skills is absolutely essential. I am also not a pianist. My main instrument is the vibraphone, as you can see over here, but I've been using piano for my entire life to try to learn songs to get the harmony into my ear. So let's get started. The first thing you have to be able to do is to play the basic types of seventh chords. There's a bunch of them. I'm just gonna demonstrate five of them here and you should learn how to play all of them in all of the keys. You should practice them around the circle of fifths. Basically, you need to know the difference between a C major seven or a C dominant seventh or a C minor seventh a C minor seventh with a flat fifth. This is also called C half diminished seventh. And then C minor with a major seventh. So there's a couple other types, but these are the main kinds that you're going to encounter when you're learning jazz standards. So you wanna practice playing the chord with the right hand and the root note of the chord with the left hand like this. And just go through the circle of fifths. So I'm gonna go C, then F, then B flat, then E flat, then A flat, D flat, G flat, B, E, A, D, G, and then back to C. Once you have that basic root position understanding under your fingers and you can find the chords relatively quickly, you should go through and practice that same thing with all of the different types of seventh chords. And after you've done that, then you should practice the seventh chords again, but this time use inversions so that you can get good voice leading. What do I mean by inversions? Well, this is a C major seven chord in what's called root position. In other words, the C, which is the root, is the note that is furthest to the left. If I take the C and put it up on top, that's called first inversion. Then the E is on the bottom. I can take the E and put that on the top, and that's what's called second inversion. Take the G and put that on top, that's third inversion and so on and so forth. So you're going up the inversions like this, but it's always a C major seven chord. Now, if we take this and use an alternation between root position and second inversion while playing through the circle of fifths, you get this. There's C in root position, F in second inversion, B flat in root position, E flat in second inversion. Root position, second inversion, root, second inversion, root, second inversion, root, second inversion, root. And you will learn that there are actually simple ways to find the next chord by getting used to that voice leading. All right, I'm gonna use a song called Beautiful Love, which is a song I've done a video about on this channel a long time ago. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the chords of the song. However, if you're a beginner piano player and you're not that confident with your skills to be able to play four note chords, then you can just play the third and the seventh. So this song, the first three chords are E minor seven flat five, A seven, D minor. Instead of playing the full chord, I'm just going to play the third and the seventh, which obviously that refers to the interval above the root. That's the root, third, fifth, seventh. So I'm gonna just play these two and I'll play the bass note on the left hand. That's my E minor seven flat five. I'm not playing the flat five right now, but that's okay. Then on the A7, I'm gonna play root in the left hand, seventh and the third in the right hand and the third and seventh on D minor. So let's add some rhythm to it. I'm gonna play quarter notes with the left hand and I'm going to play dotted quarter note and an eighth note swing rhythm with whatever I've got in the right hand. So the rhythm is gonna be nice and swinging. I don't need to keep singing that song. Okay, the next level after that is to play the full chord in the right hand, like this. Another way to develop your piano skills and use it as a direct method for learning jazz standards is to now play the chord in the left hand and the melody in the right hand. This might require 
uh, jumping up an octave because sometimes the chords will sound very muddy if you go too low on the piano below middle C. So you might need to play the, oct the melody up the octave. I'm playing the four note chord in the left hand. You can drop the melody down. Now a couple of more sophisticated accompaniment styles, and they're all very just stock, formulaic ways to come up with an accompaniment, and they sound good, so I'll show you what they are. So let's go back to using thirds and sevenths in the right hand. Now we already did playing quarter notes in the left hand and playing dotted quarter, eighth note, rhythmic pattern in the right hand. Now instead of just playing quarter notes on the roots, I'm going to do what I call the one, two, three, five pattern. So that means like that. Or you can also go eight, six, seven, five. So if I, when I, that's the E minor seven flat five, but then the next chord is A seven. I can think of that as eight and I go eight, six, seven, five, like that. And then on the D minor, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, five, G minor, C, F, like that. So that's a way you can come up with some walking bass lines that are formulaic and will actually always sound good and don't get too repetitive. Another really great skill to have is to be able to play a basic bossa nova rhythm. So with a bossa nova in the left hand, you're generally only going to play the root and the fifth. So you're not gonna do this one, two, three, five, but the rhythmic pattern for the left hand is court, dotted quarter eighth and always repeating. So boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Now, what do you do with the right hand? There's an easy way and then there's the real way. First, I'll show you the easy way. The easy way is like this. That's the easy way, and it requires a little bit less coordination between the hands, but the real bossa nova pattern sounds, you know, something like this. It helps to play drums, for sure. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you liked this video, and tune in for more content just like this. I'll see you on the other side.